But I suppose a lot of you know people deal with these experiences in different ways, and, and for women there's a parallel, obviously, with of course. breast surgery, and some women will choose not to have a reconstruction but or not the to option. wear prosthesis. Yeah, the choice well, is well, Yeah, absolutely, but I think people do deal with that differently. And for you, yeah. a big part of it was, let's just make it look as it was. And, and you've said before that you've had a lot of suppression, haven't you? Putting yeah. things down. I did, a I, did that, I did that with my life in lots of ways. You know, my mum always used to have this phrase, you know, just paint a face on it, John. You know, she used to say that to me, just paint a face on it. Mm. And I did that for a long time. You know, I'm a newly sober person. I am 217 <laughs> days sober! <laughs> and it feels great. I am reborn it feels like that you know it's not just actors that play dress up we all do it and i talk about this in my show which is going to the festival you know we all do it we all play, play dress up you know it's not just i mean you look, look you nearly did it today didn't you my love <laughs> but, I want to I ask you about your show because obviously this is at the edinburgh this, festival the show, yeah. show you're going to do at the at, edinburgh festival are you going to find it really cathartic? Are you going to be able to do the same show every night? Well, because if it's a journey through your life and all the experiences you've had... Yeah, it will change. Yeah. Um, I did a show, uh, I did this show at the Other Palace in London in February and I had no desire or interest in taking it to the fringe. It was really something that I did for me. I liken my show to a union with myself, in a way. When you get married, you stand in front of your friends and your family and you declare love for this person. You ask those people, their present, to, to watch over you uh, and to look after you on that life journey. And in some ways, this is what my show is. I'm laying it out there and saying, look, I've struggled with this for 30 years. You know, I've used drink and drugs and other things and food, uh, you know, to to hide from myself. Mm -hmm. It was never that I didn't think I was good enough because my ego's a little bit bigger than that. I always <laughs> knew I was good, but I never maybe thought I was cool enough or fun enough. Maybe or you didn't like right the real you. Well, I, no, I think I didn't trust the real me. Mm -hmm. Little Johnny sure. has always been inside of me. This is what I say, there's Big Johnny and there's Little Johnny. Mm -hmm. Big Johnny would go out all night and trash himself and it was Little Johnny that made me get up in the morning and go to work. Mm -hmm. so so what made little Johnny win then and, and you know, get you sober? What was it? You know, my mum passed away and in the April uh, and it took to the October. Uh, listen, I don't have all the answers to why and when because there are many times in my life that I should, that, you know, we talk about hitting rock bottom. I always call it a soft rock bottom. I kind of hit rock bottom and I rolled and I got back up and I carried on. 